A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire? What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who's in charge of the Republic now? Suresh reached the end of her term limits recently, but her replacement is a carefully selected puppet. She still runs things, even if she isn't officially the Chancellor anymore. And the Empire? Only one member of the Dark Council remained after the chaos. Darth Asina. She now rules as Empress of the Sith. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Arkhan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. What does Arkhan use the tribute for? Zakul doesn't seem to need much. A question no one else seems to ask or answer, not in any detail. Zakul's empire spans a sizable portion of wild space, but not enough to consume the resources they're acquiring. I've been working to learn the answer myself. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. How did you end up working together with Koth? I knew I'd never find you alone. Recruiting assets with first-hand knowledge of Zakul was my top priority for years. Koth was on the run, pursued by the deadliest of the Zakul Knights. I... resolved the situation. And we've worked together ever since. He's been an invaluable ally. Koth is a Zakul native, a veteran officer of their military, one of the few who hadn't been replaced by a droid. He and his crew were part of the occupation of the planet Denon. When ordered to do things they weren't comfortable with, Koth took his ship and crew and went rogue. What exactly were they ordered to do? That's for Koth to say. But I trust him with my life, as I trust you. I'm confident that you'll learn to trust one another just as well. So why me? You clearly went to a lot of trouble to get me out of Carbonite. Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. But... There is something else. I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor, Valkorion, is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then, while I was frozen, I saw things dreamed about him, about everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. I haven't heard his voice since you revived me, but is there really any way I could know for sure that he isn't controlling me? I suppose not, but we have to try. I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now.
salutation. It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I have encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. How minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. <laughs>